Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubecho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a Chetatorial. Former President Trump expressed willingness to face jail time or house arrest following his conviction on 34 felony counts for falsifying business records. In a Fox News interview, Trump downplayed the severity of potential punishments but doubted public acceptance of his incarceration. Despite maintaining his innocence, he criticized the trial's impact on his family and denounced those involved in his conviction. Trump awaits sentencing on July 11th, facing up to 20 years in prison while continuing his 2024 presidential campaign. In other news, nearly 1,000 people gathered at Kiev's St. Michael's Golden Domed Monastery to honor Ukrainian journalist Irina Tsaibuk, who was killed while serving as a volunteer combat medic. Tsaibuk, who died days before her 26th birthday in the Kharkiv area, had requested a ceremony filled with Ukrainian songs and traditional vishivankas instead of black attire. Attendees sang in unison, paid tribute by kneeling, and made donations to the hospitaler's volunteer medical battalion. Tsaibuk's poignant farewell letter, shared on social media, resonated deeply, highlighting her bravery and dedication. Another evolving story. Hunter Biden's trial on felony gun charges starts Monday, marking the first time a sitting president's child faces criminal trial. Indicted by special counsel David Weiss, Hunter, 54, allegedly lied on forms when buying a gun while abusing drugs. He pleaded not guilty, but admitted past addiction struggles. Key witnesses, including ex-partners, will testify about his drug use. If convicted, he could face up to 25 years in prison. This trial closely watched for its potential political impact, is set in Wilmington, Delaware, and could last up to two weeks. An uplifting piece of news, everyday anxiety, described as a feeling of fear or worry in uncertain situations, can be unsettling but holds intrinsic value, according to neuroscientist Dr. Wendy Suzuki. On CNN's Chasing Life podcast, she explains how this natural response evolved as a survival mechanism and offers practical tips to manage it effectively. Techniques include deep breathing, physical activity, reframing anxious thoughts, transforming worry into productive actions, and practicing compassion. Embracing these strategies can help turn anxiety into a tool for personal growth and resilience. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.